The Mexico national football team Spanish, Selección de Fútbol de Mexico represents Mexico in international football and is governed by the Mexican Football Federation Spanish, Federación Mexicana de Fútbol. It competes as a member of CONCACAF, which encompasses the countries of North and Central America, and the Caribbean. The team plays its home games at the Estadio Azteca. Mexico has qualified to 16 World Cups and has qualified consecutively since 1994, making it one of six countries to do so. The Mexico national team, along with Brazil are the only two nations to make it out of the group stage over the last seven World Cups. Along with Germany, Brazil, Italy, Argentina, France, Spain and Uruguay, Mexico is one of eight nations to have won two of the three most important football tournaments the World Cup, Confederations Cup, and Summer Olympics, having won the 1999 FIFA Confederations Cup and the 2012 Summer Olympics, Mexico played France in the very first match of the first World Cup on 13 July 1930. Mexico's best progression in World Cups has been reaching the quarterfinals in both the 1970 and 1986 World Cups, both of which were staged on Mexican soil. Mexico is historically the most successful national team in the CONCACAF region, having won 10 confederation titles, including seven CONCACAF Gold Cups and three CONCACAF Championships the precursor to the Gold Cup, as well as three NAFC Championships, one North American Nations Cup, and one CONCACAF Cup. Mexico is the only team from CONCACAF to have won an official FIFA competition, winning the 1999 FIFA Confederations Cup. Although Mexico is under the jurisdiction of CONCACAF, the national team has been regularly invited to compete in the Copa America since 1993, finishing runner-up twice, in 1993 and 2001 and obtaining the third-place medal on three occasions. History Topic: <inaudible> Early Years Football in Mexico was first organized in the early 20th century by European immigrant groups, notably miners from Cornwall, England, and in later years Spanish exiles fleeing the Spanish Civil War. Mexico's first match was played against Guatemala, which Mexico won 3-2. A series of international friendlies were played against the national representation of Guatemala on 9, 12 and 16 December 1923. The match on 9 December was played in Parque España which Mexico won 2-1. On 12 December, the match ended in a 2-0 win for Mexico, and the final game of the series ended in a 3-3 draw. The manager for this team was Rafael Garza Gutierrez, it would be another four years before the national team would be represented in international friendlies. On 19 June 1927, Mexico faced Spain, drawing 3-3. During this series, the squad also played against the Uruguayan club Nacional de Montevideo, losing 1-3. Formation. In 1927, the official governing body of football in Mexico was founded. The 1928 Summer Olympics was Mexico's first international tournament, where Mexico lost to Spain 1 7 in the round of 16. Mexico participated in the 1930 FIFA World Cup in Uruguay, grouped with Argentina, Chile, and France. Mexico's first match was a 4 1 loss to France, with Mexico's first World Cup goal by Juan Carreño. In their second match, Mexico fell to Chile 3-0. Mexico's third match, against Argentina, featured the first penalty of the tournament, scored by Mexico's Manuel Rosas. <laughs> Post-World War II Mexico did not appear again in a FIFA World Cup tournament until the 1950 World Cup. Before 1970, Mexico struggled to make much of an impact in the World Cup. It was by far the strongest team in the North American Football Confederation and its successor, CONCACAF, but found it difficult to compete against European and South American teams. However, goalkeeper Antonio Carbajal has the distinction of being the first player ever to appear in five consecutive World Cups. In 1965, Mexico won the 1965 CONCACAF Championship to become continental champions for the first time. 
In 1970, Mexico hosted the World Cup and kicked off their campaign with a scoreless draw against the Soviet Union. This was followed by a 4-0 win over El Salvador. Mexico advanced to the next round with a victory against Belgium. At the quarter-finals stage, Mexico was eliminated by Italy, losing 4-1. Mexico failed to qualify for the 1974 World Cup, but did make it into the 1978 finals. Mexico suffered an early exit after three defeats, 0-6 against West Germany, 1-3 against Tunisia, and 1-3 to Poland. Mexico failed to qualify for the 1982 World Cup. In 1986, Mexico again hosted the World Cup. Coached by Bora Miladinovic, Mexico was placed in Group B where they defeated Belgium 2-1, drew 1-1 with Paraguay, and defeated Iraq 1-0. With this performance, Mexico won the top spot in its group, and advanced to the next round where they defeated Bulgaria 2-0. In the quarter-finals stage, Mexico lost to West Germany 1-4 in a penalty shootout after the match finished 0-0. Topic 1990s. Mexico was disqualified from the 1990 FIFA World Cup and other international competition after using players over the age limit in the qualifying round for the 1989 FIFA World Youth Championship, known as the Cachirules scandal. The punishment was applied to all Mexico national representatives of all FIFA-sanctioned tournaments. In the 1990s, after hiring coach César Luis Minotti, Mexican football began experiencing greater international success. In the 1993 Copa America they finished second, losing to Argentina 2-1 in the final. At the 1994 FIFA World Cup, Mexico won its group on tiebreakers, emerging from a group composed of Italy, Ireland, and Norway. However, Mexico lost in the second round to Bulgaria on penalty kicks. At the 1998 FIFA World Cup, Mexico was placed in a group with the Netherlands, South Korea and Belgium. Mexico won their opening fixture 3-1 against South Korea. Mexico tied Belgium 2-2, and against the Netherlands earned another 2-2 draw, qualifying for the round of 16. In that round, Mexico lost 2-1 to Germany. In 1999, Mexico won its first official FIFA tournament by becoming the first host nation to win the FIFA Confederations Cup. Mexico defeated the United States 1-0 in the semi-finals, and 1998 World Cup runners-up Brazil 4-3 in the final. Topic: 21st century. Topic 2000s. Mexico was placed in Group G at the 2002 World Cup alongside Italy, Croatia, and Ecuador. Mexico started with a 1-0 win over Croatia. In the second match, Mexico earned a 2-1 win over Ecuador. Mexico then achieved a 1-1 draw against Italy. In the round of 16, Mexico played rivals United States, losing 2-0. Mexico was one of eight seeded teams at the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany. Mexico was in Group D with Iran, Angola and Portugal. Mexico won their opening match 3-1 against Iran. In their second match, Mexico played to a 0-0 draw against Angola. Mexico reached the round of 16, despite losing to Portugal 2-1. Mexico saw another round of 16 loss, this time to Argentina, 2-1. Mexico's coach Ricardo Lavolpe stepped down after the tournament, and was succeeded by Hugo Sanchez. After losing the final match of the 2007 CONCACAF Gold Cup 1-2 against the United States, Mexico successfully rebounded at the 2007 Copa America. Beginning by beating Brazil 2-0, they then defeated Ecuador and tied with Chile to come first in Group B in the quarterfinals. Mexico beat Paraguay 6-0, but lost in the semifinals 3-0 to Argentina. Mexico secured third place against Uruguay, winning 3-1. In July 2009, Mexico won their fifth Gold Cup, and eighth CONCACAF championship overall, after beating the United States 5-0 in the final. Topic 2010s. 
Mexico qualified for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, where they were drawn into Group A alongside host South Africa, France and Uruguay. They drew 1–1 against South Africa, defeated France 2–0, and lost 1–0 to Uruguay, and advanced to the round of 16, where they were eliminated following a 1–3 defeat to Argentina. The 2011 CONCACAF Gold Cup saw Mexico win their group with three wins and no losses. During the tournament, however, five players tested positive for the banned substance clenbuterol and were suspended from the competition. Mexico beat Guatemala in the quarter-finals 2-1, and beat Honduras 2-0. For the third straight year, the final would be contested between Mexico and the United States. Mexico won the match 4-2, and qualified for the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup in Brazil, where they were eliminated at the group stage. Mexico placed second in their group at the 2013 CONCACAF Gold Cup, and advanced to the semi-finals and faced Panama. Mexico lost the match 2-1, their second defeat to Panama in the competition after losing to them in the group stage. The two losses to Panama were the first two times Panama had ever defeated Mexico in a Gold Cup match. Mexico won only two of ten matches during the fourth round of 2014 World Cup qualifying, but qualified for an intercontinental playoff as the fourth highest placed team in the CONCACAF region. They defeated New Zealand 9-3 on aggregate to qualify for a sixth consecutive World Cup. The team reached the round of 16 where they were defeated 2-1 by the Netherlands. At the 2015 CONCACAF Gold Cup, Mexico was drawn into Group C along with Trinidad and Tobago, Cuba and Guatemala. The team placed second in the group, and won the quarterfinal match against Costa Rica and semifinal against Panama, both under controversial circumstances. Mexico won the Gold Cup after defeating Jamaica 3-1 in the final. Two days after the final, Miguel Herrera was released as coach of the national team after an alleged physical altercation with TV Azteca announcer Christian Martinoli. On 10 October, Mexico defeated the United States 3-2 to win the inaugural edition of the CONCACAF Cup, thus earning qualification to the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup in Russia. The following month, Juan Carlos Osorio was hired as Mexico's 16th manager, replacing interim manager Ricardo Ferretti. Mexico entered the Copa America Centenario, hosted in the United States, on a 13 match unbeaten streak that began in July 2015. El Tri placed first in Group C, winning 3 1 over Uruguay and 2 0 over Jamaica, and drawing 1 1 with Venezuela. In the quarterfinal against Chile in Santa Clara, California, the team lost 7-0, ending the unbeaten streak at 16 after nearly a year. After the match, manager Osorio apologized to Mexico's fans for what he described as an embarrassment, an accident of football. At the 2017 Confederations Cup, Mexico was drawn into Group A along with Portugal, New Zealand, and hosts Russia. El Tri advanced as runners-up of the group, and lost 4-1 to Germany in the semi-finals. Mexico finished fourth in the tournament, losing 2-1 to Portugal in the third-place match. In their opening match of the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Mexico defeated defending champion Germany, 1-0, for the first time in a World Cup match. They would go on to defeat South Korea 2-1 in the next game, with goals from Carlos Vela and Javier Hernandez, but would fall 3-0 to Sweden in the last group stage match. Despite the loss, Mexico qualified to the round of 16 for the seventh consecutive tournament. In the round of 16, Mexico was defeated 0-2 by Brazil. The defeat meant that for the seventh tournament in a row, Mexico failed to reach the quarterfinals since they last hosted the World Cup in 1986. Home stadium The Estadio Azteca, also known in Spanish as El Coloso de Santa Ursula, was built in 1966. It is the official home stadium of the Mexican national team, as well as the Mexican club team Club America. It has a capacity of 87,000 seats after renovation works making it the largest football-specific stadium in the Americas and the third-largest stadium in the world for that sport. The stadium hosted the FIFA World Cup final in 1970 and 1986. Friendly matches hosted by the Mexican national team often take place in stadiums across the United States as well as throughout Mexico, including the Azteca. Topic. Team image <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Kits and Crest. The Mexico national team traditionally utilizes a tricolor system, composed of green shirts, white shorts and red socks, which originate from the national flag of Mexico, known as the tricolor. Until the mid-1950s, Mexico wore a predominantly maroon kit, with black or dark blue shorts. In 2015, Adidas released a new all-black color scheme for Mexico's home kit. Green, white and red remain as accent colors. Topic. Kit suppliers Sources 1. ClassicFootballShirts.co.uk 2. OldFootballShirts.com Rivalries Mexico and the United States are widely considered as the two major powers of CONCACAF. Matches between the two nations often attract much media attention, public interest and comment in both countries. Although the first match was played in 1934, their rivalry was not considered major until the 1980s, when the teams began to frequently compete in CONCACAF Cups. On 15 August 2012, the United States defeated Mexico at Estadio Azteca in the first victory for the U.S. against Mexico on Mexican soil in 75 years. Ever since their first meeting in 1934, the two teams have met 67 times, with Mexico leading the overall series 3 4 1 8 1 5 WLD, outscoring the U.S. 138 79. However, since the 1990s, the tide began to change due to a rapid growth of soccer in the United States. During this decade, Mexico continued to hold an edge over their arch rivals but since the 2000s the series has favored the U.S. 13-7-6 WLD. <laughs> Media coverage All of Mexico's matches are shown live on over-the-air networks Televisa and TV Azteca in Mexico. In the United States all of Mexico's international friendlies and home World Cup qualifiers are shown on Spanish-language network Univision while away World Cup qualifiers are shown on Telemundo. On 30 January 2013, English-language network ESPN and Univision announced an agreement to telecast the Mexico national team home World Cup qualifiers and international friendly matches in English in the United States. <laughs> Supporters Mexico's fans are infamously known for the chant, e -E -E -H puto" which is typically screamed when an opponent's goalkeeper is about to perform a goal kick. Due to the homophobic meaning of the word puto in Mexican Spanish a vulgar term for a male prostitute, the chant received negative attention in the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Amid an investigation conducted on the subject by FIFA authorities, Mexico's fans defended the chant by claiming that it was traditionally used in the Liga MX. On 23 June 2014, FIFA dropped the case against Mexico, concluding that the chant was not considered insulting in the specific context. Nonetheless, Football Against Racism in Europe, a leading anti-discrimination organization, criticized FIFA's ruling as disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Coaching staff Players Current squad The following players were called up for two friendly matches against Argentina on 16 and 20 November 2018, caps and goals correct as of 20 November 2018, after the match against Argentina. Including only official FIFA caps. Recent call-ups The following players have also been called up to the Mexico squad within last 12 months. Previous squads Results and fixtures Win 
Draw Loss Topic twenty eighteen Topic twenty nineteen Topic Records Topic Most capped players Players in bold text are still active with Mexico. As of the 2nd of July 2018. Topic: <inaudible> Top goalscorers. Players in bold text are still active with Mexico. As of the 2nd of July 2018. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Competitive record. For the all-time record of the national team against opposing nations, see the team's all-time record page. Topic: <inaudible> FIFA World Cup. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> FIFA Confederations Cup. Topic: <inaudible> CONCACAF Championship and Gold Cup. Topic Copa America Topic Olympic Games Topic Honors FIFA World Cup Quarterfinals nineteen seventy, nineteen eighty six FIFA Confederations Cup Winners, 1999 Third place, 1995 Fourth place, 2005, 2017 CONCACAF Championship, Gold Cup Winners, 10, 1965, 1971, 1977, 1993, 1996, 1998, 2003, 2009, 2011, 2015 CONCACAF Cup Winners, 2015 Copa America Runners-up, 1993, 2001 Third place, 1997, 1999, 2007 Summer Olympics Winners, 2012 See also Mexico national football team all-time record Mexico national football team schedule and results Mexico national under-17 football team Mexico national under-20 football team Mexico national under-21 football team Mexico national under-23 football team Mexico national beach football team Mexico national futsal team Mexico and United States football rivalry Notes <laughs>